My health habits aren't great, but I look fine. Well, Moss actually joins us, and you told our producers you can relate to this. I can totally relate. I mean, I just love food in general, and pizza, burgers, fries. Um, but why, why should I change my diet if I'm comfortable with myself when I look at myself in the mirror and go out and get dressed? Well, come, come up here with me. And I think, you know, Masa, your story is very relatable, but I also think, you know, a lot of people hear your story and they're frustrated. Because a lot of people say, well, no matter what I do, I can't get to a weight I'm comfortable with. They look at you and they think, she looks fabulous and she eats all that crap. Here's the reality, though. It doesn't always matter what you look like. When we talk about your health, you gotta look inside. Because there are a lot of things that go on inside the human body that you're never gonna see on the outside when you're eating a lot of bad food. One of the things that you need to start thinking about is what's going on inside your body. So let's start with this. Do you have any idea what that is? No. <laughs> it's part of your pancreas. Do you wanna feel it? I don't even know where that is. Well, let me show you. So. I have to deconstruct our model okay, here a little bit, but, but come okay. over here. So your pancreas actually lives behind your stomach. Now I'm going to try to pull this out. Oh God. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take the liver out too. Okay, there that goes. So back here is your pancreas. Okay. And what it does is every time you eat a meal, like French fries, a meal that's loaded with sugar, it releases insulin. And here is where the sad situation can be for people who have normal weight. A lot of people who are normal weight do get diagnosed with diabetes. One in eight diagnoses of type two diabetics are normal weight. But normal weight diabetics, a recent study actually showed that they have twice the risk of dying of cardiovascular disease. And the reason is that you may be normal weight but that doesn't mean that internally your body's responding any better to the insulin that you're releasing after all these meals. It doesn't mean your body's not working twice as hard. It just doesn't show on the outside. Because the other thing that can be happening is internally, you know, you may not be overweight, but you can still internally have a lot of visceral fat covering your organs, causing internal damage. You know what else isn't in French fries or deep fried food or a lot of the other things you say you like? What? Do you want to feel it? You can put some gloves on and it's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna jump in with you because we're, really, we're gonna do this. Back. And this is what a lot of women don't think about until it's too late. But I can tell you when you're eating foods of that nature, what you aren't doing is building strong... Bones. Strong bones. Okay. You know, women, especially as women move on in life are susceptible to what's called osteoporosis. I want you to feel it. That's a spine, okay? Okay. You're looking at that in profile. But women who drink a lot of sodas much more likely to develop osteoporosis. Women who are not engaging in weight-bearing exercise a lot more likely to develop osteoporosis. And that may not mean anything to you now, but 20, 30 years down the road, when you fall and you break your hip, it's gonna mean something to you. And right now is when your body wants to be its strongest. It wants strong bones. You're priming yourself right now with your eating habits to how you're gonna feel 20, 30 years down the road. Oh my God, I'm kind of afraid for that. Every time you eat a meal that's okay. loaded with processed sugars, salt, salt, butter, saturated fats, every single time you do that, you are putting a burden on your internal organs that will add up over time, will potentially prematurely end your life, will potentially lead to premature fractures, will potentially lead to things like diabetes, will potentially lead to a heart attack. And I don't care if you're the perfect svelte vigor or not. You gotta stop now so that 10, 20, 30 years from now, you don't end up in the ER. You know, I want this to be the day where you say, oh, I turned it around. And I still look fabulous, but now. So does the inside. So does the inside. Okay. Are you in? Yeah, all right, let's do it.